Well, greetings again, and welcome to day four of our devotion. Uh, it's July the 9th, and uh, we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit forever. We'll be reading from uh, John 14, uh, verses 16 and 17, taken from the New Living Translation. And uh, Jesus is speaking here. And I will ask the Father... And he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. Now, another name for advocate is comforter, encourager, and counselor. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it is looking, it isn't looking for him and it doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. During his lifetime on earth, Christ's presence could be experienced only by a small group of men at any given time. Now Christ dwells through the Spirit in the hearts of all those who have received him as Savior. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians where he says, don't you realize that all of you together are the temple of God and the Spirit of God lives in you? The Holy Spirit is given to every believer, not for a limited time, but forever. Were he to leave us for one moment, we would be in deep trouble. Walter Knight tells a story about a little boy who had recently received Christ. Daddy, how can I believe in the Holy Spirit when I have never seen him? Asked Jim. I'll show you how, said his father, who was an electrician. Later, Jim went with his father to the power plant where he was shown the gyrators. This is where the power comes from to heat our stove and give us light. We cannot see the power, but it is in the machine, that machine, and in the power lines said the father. I believe in electricity, said Jim. Of course you do, said his father. But you don't believe in it because you see it. You believe in it because you see what it can do. Likewise, you can believe in the Holy Spirit because you see what he does in people's lives when they are surrendered, surrendered to Christ and possess his power. Thus, by faith, you accept the fact that you are indwelt by the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of God. He is there to give you special power to work for Christ. He is there to give you the strength in the moment of temptation. He is there to produce the supernatural fruit of the Spirit, such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. He is there to guide you over all the difficult terrain you must cross as a Christian. Let us pray. Our Father and God, I believe in you and in the Holy Spirit. I believe he lives in me, guides me, teaches me, and comforts me. Every day I can see the mighty works you do on the earth and in my own life through the Holy Spirit. Thank you for living and abiding in me through Jesus, my Lord. Amen.